Are you Joshua? Oh, there's a puddle here. Yeah, puddles everywhere. Hi. Hi. Yeah, hi, 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 Joshua. Hi. Okay, nice to see you. Hi, yeah. This is Joshua from oh, Everyday Drive. Drive, drive Everyday. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Drive. <laughs> okay, Drive yeah. Everyday. Uh, you have a website, right? Yeah, I just write about car stories and also I'm blogging about my polo. Okay. Oh, well, I thought, well, if I'm going to be uh, owning a used Volkswagen, might as well try to make some money out of it because the repairs are. Really? You took the time to come and also meet me, right? Yeah, it's and really an amazing car. You say you wanted to know more about my car after yeah. you saw my initial YouTube videos. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 20. Yeah, I'm 20. 99. Okay. End of the millennium. Guess what? This car beside you... It's the same age as me. No, it's no. older than you. Oh. This car oh, is... Oh, 20. Yeah. This is 25-year-old car. Oh my. Yeah, it's so... better than me anyway. No, no, I think you're better than the car. Really, you like these views? But these views are super classic looking. Yeah, but it just suits the car. It's I love it. It looks like it's from the 635 CSI. Oh. Yeah. yeah they they cool. have nicer wheels, I'm sure. It's similar pattern. Yeah. I think it's a style 5. But in even a style 5 they have slightly different like uh how much of these uh, spooks go to the edge of the rim. Yeah. Uh they differ from uh Different models, they have a slightly different design yeah, there. Still. It reminds yeah. me of the Alpina. I, just, I always want to put Alpina wheels on it with the big multi spokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a sucker for multi spokes. Right. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's, a, it's refreshing to see someone liking small wheels because it is the trend now to have 17, 18, 19. Like this. Or 20. This is, this is 17. These, these are drug dealer wheels on this tiny car. Mm. But after seeing this, I cannot look at polos anymore with tiny wheels because right. the arches are just so huge. It's like, why do you need such a huge arch or tiny car? But you see, this BMW have got a big arch, yeah. right? Uh, the, but the wheel is very small. So what we do is that big, big tires, big the tires pushy, are comfortable very, tires. Yes, very thick tires. Yeah. It's 195-65-15. These are 205 40, I think. I can't, yeah, 205-40-17s. Okay. Okay. So this car, let me unlock the car. You love taking photos, huh? Well, I thought I didn't until but I'm not very good at photos. Really? I your website is about photos, right? That's why. So I find it very boring just with words. Well, people find it very boring. I I'm okay reading paragraphs, but. So I decided, oh well, I have to learn how to use a camera. Hmm. Oh, there are, there are still stuff you can remove. No, it's okay My to... Vietnam hat, I came back from a Vietnam trip. You want to straighten the wheel? Uh, okay, but I think you need to use the key. Yep. There you go. What I really like is the interior. Uh, the reason why it's blue is because the previous owner of the car yeah. wanted to paint the car blue. You know the new BMW blue the, color? Like the Laguna, is it Laguna Seca? Seca? Or is it Sepang? No, Sepang is Audi, right? I don't know what's his name. Okay. Uh, but basically the 3 Series blue right now. But I think I'm just going to stay with the silver because it looks sleeper. Can you pop the hood? Yep. Hood shots still your hood shots still work. That's yes. amazing. Yeah, it still works. Yeah. Straight six. Straight six goodness. Do you want me to start it up and uh, show you how it sounds? Yes, please. Let me film it. Start! Okay. Oh, listen to it. Oh. It hurts. Yeah. Is it background noise right now? Okay. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. It's so... It's smooth. It's silky so smooth. You can hold it. Let me try a trunk. Mechanical throttle. Yes. What throttle lag? Oh. Sounds 
down to. And this is only a low RPM. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Oh. Let's go get some fuel. Yeah. And okay. we'll drive around. Just go ahead and ask me questions. It's okay, let, let me just shut up for a bit and let me just hear the engine. Oh, you want to hear the engine? Yeah. Oh. It's pretty good. It's very good. Let's get out of this. Yeah. So you've had this car for... A year. A year, a year exactly? Uh, more than a year actually. Man. I got it in uh, last July. July 2018, yes. Okay. So, uh, another question is, do you actually go to the M MSF? Do you track day? Yes, with I this went, car? Well, I haven't gone to MSF. I went for autocross. Where? In Sepang. When? When the... There's an autocross in Sepang? I think it's an M MSF autocross. Okay. Oh yeah, now 36 Yeah. Well, this, no, your wheels are so much better than this. I think... <laughs> Your wheels are, your wheels make the car. Oh, that was good. And the, the manual is, the manual is key to this man. Yeah, I see there's new stitching on the gear. Yeah. The, the boot there, yeah. It's, it's supremely well made. And, and when you take the car for cruising, yeah. Very smoothly. It's fine. It's a Jekyll and Hyde. It becomes a docile. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's and not, it's not noisy at all when, when, it, when under, under cruising. Yes. Only when you give it some boot. Yep. Little kids, we can't have fun yet on the roundabout. Yeah. What is interesting about this OBC is that okay we got some fuel so 60 ringgit of fuel gives me an estimated about 300 yeah. kilometers. Uh, the thing is if I run low of fuel, uh, you can put in this is like a test page. I know exactly it's 32.5 liters of fuel in my tank right now. That's really cool. Yeah, and you got things like I should be able to know how much of uh, fuel are, is the are we injecting the engine right now idle if we now air con you will see that it uses less fuel so at idle with no air conditioning is doing 1.0 liter. liters per hour oh, it's strong. Yep. Yeah. yes you turn on air conditioning it's on so that's our, that's the interesting stuff about yeah, but this also, also checks for error codes like bulbs being blown or whatever yes right? yeah. true true so when I got the car there's whole lots of error on the OBC like uh, check coolant level, uh, check washer fluid, check uh, brake, brake lights, you know, since brake light failure and stuff like that. Uh, so part of the journey is that I really spent a lot of time to get everything back. It's not it's nothing major, it's just all the connections are being old, the sockets uh. are brittle. So I just got to fix stuff like that. The joys of a used continental car. <laughs> Let's hear the vano sing. Stock or uprated? Stock. In fact, the car came with drilled, slotted and drilled rotos. Wow. Yeah. But it was a bit worn out. It probably wouldn't last another set of brake pads. So I changed everything. And it is cheap. 
So yeah, I got all four rotos for 450 ringgit only. That's really cheap. See, used car ownership can be cheap. Yeah, and have fun. Yeah. Because from, from memory, my car driving repertoire is not big, but I remember this had the most, uh, this is the heaviest steering really? compared to all the other cars. Oh. Like even the, like, drove the Tucson, it's not as heavy and, uh, and especially the Polo, the Polo is lightest. Even the Jazz or the Cities and, oh, the, the lightest one I drove was the Vios. Those are different. Those I, are electric. They, they are so different, yeah. yeah. The EPS, they just, they just feel so light. It's lighter than, than my computer game steering. <laughs> yeah. It took me a bit of time to get used to it. Uh, the first day I got the car, I was stalling it. I think two or three times at least. Uh, yeah, I learned in a manual and then after that I was stuck to autos and DSGs. But yeah, if I, if I could go back to a manual, I would. But when you're, when you're in daily traffic, how is the clutch heavy? Is no, it? no, it's not heavy. It's manageable. Uh. Manageable. It's it's the little things that make you remember a car. It, it shows the car's personality. It's not perfect. It's not a box that takes you from A to B. You have fun with it. You enjoy it. You it it sometimes does disappoint you, but you learn something from it. So yeah, that's why that I always have a soft spot for the E thirty six. Even though some say yeah, the E forty six is better and right. yes. but then oh well, love is blind. The V6 has got so little of assistance. Right? Yeah. There's no traction control, there's no ESC. In fact, in this car, there's no airbag. So oh, if yeah. anything happens, we die like real men. Yeah. We die smiling. I don't know about smiling <laughs> or not, but at least this is the car that it allows a mature like me, I'm not a pro, yeah. to really nurture up my, my driving control. Have you hit the magic 155 miles an hour? Have you tried to put No, no. I haven't reached the top speed of this car yet. The highest I've done is 200. Wow, that's 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 also quite fast for a 23 year old car. 25 year old. 25 year old car, sorry. So let me ask you this question. Yeah. You are 20 years old? Yes. Will you consider buying a car older than your age? Yes. You will? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. My the cars that I look at now are very eclectic. I I've always wanted a, in my, well, being young and dumb, you have a very big garage in your head. So, one of the cars is an XJC12, V12, the XJ Coupés. Mm -hmm. Those are really rare, but the, it, I've looked at it and it's like, that's gangster, that's totally, <laughs> if I drive that, everyone will be scared of me and all this. Oh, so, yeah, 1968. That's way older than me, that's way older than my father. Yeah, that's, but yeah, that's, definitely. That's in the age range of my parents. Yeah. And uh, Cadillacs, I don't mind. Ferraris, 308s, mm -hmm. Testarossas. Who who doesn't want a Countach? Oh. Or even things like E30s, M3s, oh, yeah. 190s, Quattros, the UR Quattros. Okay. I, I really like the E30s look. I would buy it if not because of two things. Uh, first, it is quite expensive. They cost more than E36. Yeah. And I respect them as a classic. I didn't want to wreck them because I just because I want to shuffle my rear-wheel drive control. Yeah. Uh, then secondly, 
uh, rust. The the E thirties are older. Yeah. And it seems that it is more prone to rust. You can find E thirty six with no rust, but E thirty with no rust, uh, I haven't seen one yet. I mean, in their normal yeah fossil uh, condition yeah, yeah fossil condition, I haven't seen one that didn't have any rust. Uh, yeah, I would definitely consider an older car. You will. I will. I. Aren't you afraid that driving an old car makes you look older? No, because the, the people who the, the cars that I want are are respected. They are legendary. Okay. It's like even if you want a like the nineties, you have all the JDM muscle. Mm -hmm. You have the R thirty two, R thirty three, R thirty four GTRs. Who doesn't want one of those? And Sounds cool, but, but that's different, you see. You you have GTR, girls look up to you, guys look up to you, of course. Or an Integra, or even, uh, even a Honda Prelude with a four-wheel steering. But, okay, let me set the question okay. this way. How do I look with this old car? Does it make me look like an uncle? Because no. this E36 Sedan is an uncle car with silver color yeah. with 15-inch VPS rim, you know? Yeah, but... I, well, I can't tell because I, I respect these people who drive these cars. Okay, okay, good. Let's I let's see how it is. And so as a car guy, you respect someone yeah. driving an old car like this. Yeah, I. It's I always find it very refreshing okay. to see old Volvos on the road, especially driven by young people. Mm. Those the those brakes, the seven forties, the two forties, driven by thirty year old forty, because they know what what is it. Okay. They, they, they appreciate it for what it is. It's a tank. And people who drive E36s, people who drive 190Es, yeah, even people who drive uh, 146 Alphas. Yeah, they, yeah. Sound they sound really good. They sound really good. Yeah. That's another car I want to uh, write about, the, some, anyone who has a Busso V6. Mm. It is very good to hear that driving an old car in this does not make you feel that I'm a, a boring old uncle. No, no, no. Yeah. I hope girls will think the same. Uh, I don't know. Hard, hope... hard to tell. Uh, hard to tell? Yeah. Okay. So... I'm an engineering student, so not my, not, I don't hang out with a lot of girls. Yeah. <laughs> Just feel our final thoughts. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, this car is... Yeah, it's amazing. Go, go follow really? this channel, please. Oh yes. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment on the video uh, on any questions you want to know about uh, this 25 year old Any suggestions on what, you, what videos he, he should post? Yeah, or maybe mods, you know? Right yeah. now it's almost near stock. I don't know what to mod. I have my adjustable suspension. I have my LSD coming. What's next? I don't know. Turbo fans, wheels. Turbo fans. Okay, so... Yes. Yeah, Joshua, I'm also very hoping to, to see your article yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. or what story you want to write about the E36. Yeah, I'm just basically writing about you and your car. You, yes. What? Thank you, thank yeah. you. Thank you for taking the time to uh, so to, 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 spend, to spend with me here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, all the best for you your too. website. Thanks. Your you website is? Well. Yes. Uh, driveeveryday.me yeah. uh, Driveeveryday.me okay. Just Google Drive Every Day. You'll be seeing my black polo all the time. Okay, alright. So, see you. Okay, thank you.